One man's mission is taking him 30 feet deep into the sea, living in a 100 foot underwater lab for 100 days, all in the name of science. The video is amazing. It's a glimpse into the underwater world, and the man dedicating 100 days in the Atlantic Ocean is conducting medical and marine science research. Joining us now down in a lagoon is Dr. Deep C. Joseph Taturi. He's also a retired diving officer for the Navy. Doctor, we are so excited to have you here. So happy this works. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I get the opportunity to interact with great people. So thank you for the uh, the interaction. Well, thank you for being here. So I think the first question on everyone's mind is why? Why are you down there? What are some of the science experiments that you're conducting now? All right, so three reasons why I'm down here specifically. One is because I have a PhD in biomedical engineering and I intend to figure out what goes on in the human body when you leave it in an isolated, confined, extreme environment? Additionally, I want to do outreach to kids, talk to them about STEM, talk to them about, listen, you could have a career in science and it's cool and you can do it in a really cool environment. Third and finally, I get to talk to all the PhDs and MDs in the undersea realm, all these marine scientists, and we talk about preservation, protection, and rejuvenation in the marine environment. So we're pretty stoked that 60 to 70% of the world's oxygen comes from this ocean, and we really need to protect it. So That's amazing. So what's some of the research you've collected, and have there been any significant insights that you could share? Uh, the most compelling insight right now, uh, much of the research is brand new and it's, it's before time. So I don't want to give away too much, but we don't have a real trend yet. And there's only an N of one, by the way. But some of the stuff that's compelling is that I sleep better. And it's not anecdotal. I sleep between 60 and 66% in REM and deep sleep, which is unheard of for me. Right, My cognitive function way up, that is an anecdotal report. My telomere length has been increased by 20%. That's how long you can regenerate your cell. So I'm basically extending my life sort of while being down here. Lots of good things happening. Well, that's amazing. And I think it's a little bit counterintuitive. Some people may think it'd be a stressor on your body. So what do you think oh. is contributing to that? No, well, that's a known mechanism of action of hyperbaric medicine. So the longer you stay under hyper, meaning more than baric, meaning pressure, the longer you stay in hyperbarics, the longer your telomeres get. It's just one of those things. Uh, one of the great researchers recently just figured that out. And now we're just kind of playing with it and modulating it and seeing how well we do. Additionally, cholesterol is down by 72 points. It's crazy. I mean, my uh, every one of my thought processes is going. My oxidative stress is decreased. Uh, every one of the inflammatory markers is also decreased. So really, it's kind of like the rejuvenation machine. I, this could be a spa. You want to come? Wow. It, yeah, as you keep talking, we're all going to be down there. So <laughs> you've already set a record for being the first human to live underwater the longest. You're expected to resurface June 9th. It sounds like you're having a great time down there. Any chance you'll change your mind and stay longer? Yeah, uh, I have been told by the significant others saying, listen, you're going 100 days, not 101 days. Do not do not do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so, a, a lot of work needed to keep you down there, I'm assuming. Is that correct? Absolutely. And and listen, I have to give a shout out to the people at Marine Resources Developmental Foundation, because while you see one person, there are 10 medical doctors in this experiment, PhDs, MDs. There are 100 people at Marine Lab all sponsoring, supporting, pushing, driving. It's not just me. There is no I in this team. However, I happen to be the only one that gets to get interviewed, and that's unfortunate. Joe Deturi, you're amazing. Dr. Deepsea, thank oh. you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, every day is a new experience, so check us out and follow us on Dr. Deepsea. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.